to look today. Today is look. <gasps> I got the 5%. Alright, so I'm charging my phone. My phone was at 5%. <gasps> this is, I don't think I had absolutely. But thankfully, I have a charger in the car. Like, I have never made like a legit vlog before, so um, I am gonna be very awkward. I cringe at like everything that I do, so this this alone is like very uncomfortable for me. But like, I want to get comfortable at it because I want to bring you guys on our adventures. So um, yeah, driving down the mountain today. Museum in Burbank um, forever ago, and it's like a little paw. Everything is, of course, is um, ethically sourced. But um, me and Joya just stopped at Nectar, which is where we always stop when we come down the mountain. Um, I got me an acai bowl. We always get our breakfast here with some strawberries and um, blueberries. Oh my goodness, let's get a close up of that. And we got, we went to the grocery store earlier. We always some get our snacks from the grocery store. Sweetener and some snacks. And even though this is a really sweet bowl, I always mm -hmm. add extra sweetener. I do not know how to properly vlog. I feel like my arms, I feel like Kamaji right now. Like my arms are just like, Ugh. I don't know how to vlog properly. <laughs> can, dude. So um, here is what I got. It's a, a seasonal drink. It's watermelon, lime, and strawberry. Um,
It's so good. It's so refreshing. I am probably actually gonna add some sweetener in there. I bought some peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> so I like putting some peanut butter in my acai balls. Don't judge Why me. Why am I so awkward, dude? I don't even know what how to vlog. I'm gonna Am I like Ugh. yummy? <clears throat> I like the Annie's birthday cookies. How? Baka. Oh my God, you know what this tastes like? What? Mm. It tastes exactly like a vanilla Oreo. The golden mm. Oreos. Like, I love them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop filming because there's people everywhere. Heading to the Old World Emporium to meet with Dylan. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! <sighs> also, one of our really good friends, Ariel, she is gonna be opening up a spot like at the Old World Emporium. I'm so freaking happy for her this is this is like huge you know like this is huge one day we want to have like a spot like a spot for our shop um like real tangible place we sort of have that at our place that we live at right now because um where we take our tattoo appointments um we have like our shop like set up there so sort of in a way like people can come and shop but like i'm gonna try one of these crackers got these like little animal cookies. This one is shaped like a little cow. It's so cute. It's a little cow. Little crackers. Sheep. A sheep? They do taste like Oreos. They taste like vanilla Oreos. This one is a giraffe. I'm just looking around at all these people and I'm like, I feel like there's like a certain type of person that has broken out of the matrix of like living a fast paced life that they hate. And like, we are like building a new matrix where all of us are just doing what we love and like following our heart and our passion and like connecting with each other through that. And then like, like when you look around it's like you see it's like very easy to see which people have broken out of that matrix and which people have not and it's like the best thing you can do is keep doing what you're doing because that might help inspire the people that think maybe they think that they're too old and they can't pursue what they love that they actually could. It's never too late to break out of the matrix. Um, you could be 50 years old and realize that you have a passion for singing and you just become a singer. You could be like 80 years old and realize like love designing clothes or you're very fashionable and you like dressing cool. I don't know. All I know is if I was like 80 years old in this day and age and I like saw all of these like younger new age generation kids like doing what they love and like doing crazy things that like, well crazy things, things that like were considered crazy back then that like was just absurd, the idea of it. It was like brushed away like that's a dream and you can't do that. If I was an old lady and I saw people living their dreams, I'd be like, I want to live my dream too. I literally would dye my hair blue and do my makeup and dress the way that I do and get tattoos if I was 80 years old. I think it's just so different. The time right now is so different. And it's like, this is the time. It's like our ancestors have been working their asses off. And like, you know, for the world to be the way that it is now. Like, if it wasn't for the people of the past, the world would not be what it is right now. And it's like, 
We're rebuilding, we're reconstructing the world. We're reconstructing the way that our civilization functions and like creating a new... I don't know if this is making any sense. But yeah, Julia is scrubbing the dust off of our car right now at the gas station. And I'm sitting here. I should help her. Okay, bye. So, for those of you guys who are curious, the little animal cookies are this brand. And it crosses the like looking at us. And then I, I was laughing because I was looking at the bag. Like, I was like, oh my god, these little cookies are so cute when I was looking at them in real life. But on the back, like the little cow, okay, the other ones are cute. Like, that's cute, that's cute. Chicken is cute. The cow is like ugly. That's all I have to say. Careful, because I almost got hit by a car earlier. This sushi smells so good. <gasps> and I like watched the cute little chef make it like right in front of my face. It's a little place in LA right on Hollywood Boulevard and it's so good. It's like a little tiny hole in the wall, but that's LA for you. We are in the church where they filmed Helena and I'm going up the stairs right now. But Julia and I were singing. Maybe we should sing in here. 